सो हे गाइज वट्स अप वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग फाइन एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ यू गैस कैन लॉन्च एनी एप्लीकेशन इन कम्प्लीटली फ्लोटिंग फ्री फॉर्म विंडो विदाउट एनी साइज रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन एनी एंड्रॉड डिवाइस डजेंट मैटर इफ यू आर यूजिंग एंड्रॉड डिवाइस और एंड्रॉड टैबलेट इट शुड भी जस्ट एंड्रॉड थर्टीन प्लस एंड यू विल भी एबल टू इन्जॉय दिस फीचर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ओपन द एप्लीकेशन इन द फ्लोटिंग विंडो फ्रॉम द योर एप ड्रॉर एज वेल एज फ्रॉम द टास्क बार सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So guys there are three things which you have to keep in mind to get this floating window right so first of all the key number 1 you should be in basically android 14 basically android 13 or above it doesn't work on android 12 for android 12 there is one other application which you can try i will also mention the link of that application in the floating window uh, basically in the description of this video but uh, the, to set up it the uh, procedure of it is little bit different i will make video on it later but uh, if you have android 13 or above you can use this application yemf squared with the link of this application will be given in the description at the top so you should be on android 13 or above for this uh, application to work which i will be showing in this video also you need a magisk application uh, basically you must have a root on your device and there is one last condition you should have jazisk working as well as ls pose working on your device so as you can see i have flash jazisk ls pose and uh, if you don't know what i'm talking about just look it up on youtube because you will find so many other people already telling you how to set up all these things so i will be not repeating and wasting any uh, lot of your time so you should have this working all these things now to get the uh, basically link of the application you can just simply click on the uh, link in the des description and you may be redirected to my this uh, basically group on telegram uh, which can be really useful to you so you can definitely join it and in this what you have to do is you have to come on this ls post module uh, ls post topic sections and over here you can see this is why i am scared i will mention the link in the description also mention the link of my telegram group in description so if you have any issues just join the telegram group and comment it out there in the chat hub because on youtube you can't really send screenshots and all that so it really be, uh, becomes very difficult to solve the issue of any user on telegram it is lot easier by talking so anyway you will be redirect you will see this link you can just uh, download the application from over here if you are using a telegram if you are not just simply click on the github link uh, github link will be open you have to just simply go on the releases click on top releases and you have to download the latest application ymf squared and after downloading it you have to just simply install it and after installation uh, as i have already told you you should you must have ls pose active you have to open your ls pose module manager just simply go in the module sections go over over ymf enable this module and select these two applications uh, system firmware and google pixel launcher or any pixel launcher or any android default launcher which you uh, the launcher which is running on your android device uh, if you don't know what type of launcher on your device is currently running just simply go on the settings simply click on then uh, then you have to click on apps so over here you have to to go on the apps and over here you have to simply simply click on default applications over here you can see home app just simply select it and you will see your default launcher application over here the name of your default launcher application there now what you have to do is you have to go on the ls post module you can just simply always press on this three button at the top and now simply you can just long press on this hide and after that you can just uh, disable the system app by default it is selected you must uh, you should just simply unselect this thing system apps and then you can just simply see your launcher application just select it and reboot your device and after that after once reboot you have rebooted your device and this is not working hopefully then what you can do is you can just simply click on the uh, long press on this your home launcher application and click on this reoptimize options right after click on reoptimize when you go back it should be working 100% hopefully right so yeah that's a simple and short procedure to how to get this floating window working uh, if you don't know how from where you uh, you you can get a ls post module uh, again you can just simply join my telegram group over here in the ls post topic if you go in the ls post topic and click on this or uh, top notes thing over here i have listed all the uh, basically ls post modules which are currently available and you can flash them on your device so you can flash this module at the first which i have mentioned it is working for on almost all devices and then there is second one then there, there is third one and there is also a jazisness module which disables the ls post module or hide it 
for uh, making the banking applications work so you can find all the lsbos module modules from over here which you can flash in on your device and make it work but anyways that's the topic of later so that's how you get uh, your yemf scared application set up now after opening the yemf application uh, this uh, interface is really simple and you will get the launcher uh, almost working so whenever you long press it basically you can just simply click on this application and floating window application should be open still if you really want to open any application in the floating window come from completely new you can come over this application click on new window and over here you will be getting this new window which you can just simply expand and select any application to launch in the floating window over here then also you can do some settings which you uh, which i will suggest that you should do you can just simply click on these settings options and you will see so many options over here i will suggest if you are a tablet user just simply enable all these options because these options really help uh to basically make your experience really good this is the taskbar hook uh, due to which i am able to just simply click on any application and that application is able to open in the floating window then it is a transparent taskbar hook so that's why i am able to just open any application from the floating window again uh taskbar hook is for a system home launcher screen and this uh transient taskbar hook is for uh, this taskbar on any custom basically like right, right now right and also i will just simply suggest uh, suggest enable all these options to make your experience a little bit better you can play along with these options and customize your experience depending on you you can also change your dpi uh, if you really want uh, like if you want to see what happens with the changing dpi to very high so what will it will basically does is that it will uh, basically open it will make any application open in the floating window feel like it's opening in the tablet So over here you can see when I open Kiwi browser in the floating window you can see the UI is very large. Uh, basically UI is large yeah. Uh, I guess uh, the greater the number you put the smaller the UI is. So if I put the greater number like 500 the more big UI of Chrome browser will be in the floating window. So you can see yeah exactly that's how it works. The Chrome browser is just basically so much big. So you can just play along with this of uh, DPI density. Uh, it's just like a how you set the dpi on your android that's it you can just customize how much size of a uh, floating window you really want your application to be open it so you can definitely play along with and enjoy the all the features of the floating window without any restrictions of traditional android so yeah it really just makes everything experience and whole whole experience for a tablet user is extremely good so i would definitely recommend just install this application uh, turn on LS pose and enjoy it. Also, you can open applications from recents uh, in the floating window. So yeah, hope you like this video and we'll see you again.